Yo guys, what is up? This is Scammers from Minidocs coming back at you with Discord.py episode 5. And today we're just going to be going over cogs. So essentially the benefits of cogs are things such as readability. So instead of having one massive bot.py file which is thousands of lines long, you split it up into different Python files which then have just a few hundred lines each, maybe about a thousand, but it's just in general a lot more readable. You split it all up into the relevant events, commands, functions, utilities, just all of that jazz. So today we're just going to be going over splitting up our current bot into a cog setup and also adding an on member join and on member leave event. So essentially our bot.py file stays the same, except we are going to remove most of our events and most of our commands. So I'm just keeping the on message here as an event, just so that we can keep our blacklist system running. And then the main notable change to this file itself is down here on line 66, and that's a uh, if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals, and then a string which is underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And so essentially what that is is whenever the Python interpreter reads a source file, it does a couple of things. It sets a few special variables like underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then it executes all of the code found in the file. So if the Python interpreter is running this file, let's say it runs bot.py, it will set that name variable to main, which essentially means it's run, it's the main file. Whereas if this file gets imported from another Python file, the name will be set to whatever called it. So it won't be the main, so this code here won't run, so our bot won't run if this file gets imported from another Python file, which is what we're looking for. And so one thing we have added is OS. So essentially we're just going to iterate over our subdirectory called cogs. So we've made a subdirectory here called cogs in our folder for our bot. And then within that, we're just going to go if the file ends with .py, which is all of our files currently, but it doesn't start with an underscore. So I don't want the underscore JSON to be loaded, so I've put an underscore in front of it. Whereas I want commands and events to be loaded, hence why they don't have that underscore. So it's just a bit of help to keep everything in the same folder, rather than having to have if statements with names and things. So then we just do bot.load extension and provide cogs dot and then the file name minus set extension. And then we just run our bot as usual. So Let's just jump into our JSON file actually. So the JSON Python file is essentially just something that I'm using as a utility for storing things in JSON. So if you remember last episode, our blacklist command stored some data in a JSON file. Well, we're going to do that as well. We're still going to keep that functionality, but I've put the JSON functions in one file that we can import from everywhere. So essentially the way that's working is up the top I am defining a couple functions. So a get path function, which essentially is a function to get the current path to this file. Not to these files, but to this file. So we can assume that anything that uses those functions will be operating from this level of the directory. And then we can just go down and down, which is just a lot easier. And so that's just used in our read JSON file. A function where it takes a file name parameter which is a string of the file name to open and then it opens the JSON file and returns a dictionary of the data that was in the file and then our write JSON file is just a it takes data which is a dictionary to write to the file file name which is where to write it to and then that just writes it to our config file so moving on we'll jump over under commands actually but we had have started from the right and this little moved across, but all will be revealed. So essentially, one thing with commands and just any class, any cog, is that they must be a class, and they also must subclass commands.cogs. So, essentially the way you want to set this up. The three main requirements for a file to be a cog is, so we'll just set it up here. So why, the reason I'm not coding all this for you guys, when I said last episode I would, is because just purely because of how big everything is. So we'll jump back into it next episode, but while I go over all the changes and all the files, I'm just not doing that. 
So essentially we just do this and then we're going to make a class and then we're going to subclass commands.cog and then you want to make an init which is essentially every time this class is called this function will run and that gets passed self and bot and then we just go self.bot equals bot and so the way that works is every time you access a class um, every function will have self and that's how we're using so instead of bot equals it's self.bot equals or whatever it's just a simpler way of doing that and then at the bottom we just want to have a diff set up actually I'll just pop over here for you guys it'd probably be easier if I just copy and paste it to be honest it's quick diff set up bot and then we just add a cog to the bot so whatever our class name is so we've called it test so we'll just jump down here call that test and that's all you need to do that's how you set it up and then from here within the class you just put your commands you just put your events that type of thing you can define functions outside of the scope of the class or within the class it doesn't truly matter except for accessibility you have to have a class object to use some functions and things like that so jumping back into our commands file up the top you might notice I've just added a little thing for on ready so we can see if our cog has loaded and so instead of doing at bot.event we use at commands.cog.listener and that doesn't override so with an event it can sort of get in the way of commands running and things whereas a listener is separate to that and doesn't affect things and you have to pass self into these because they're part of the class and so we're just going to go on ready so that commands cog has been loaded and then also to define a command it's at commands.command not because of the class name but because of this here it's me error I will test that when we go into discord and then we can solve that together maybe a conflicting name shouldn't be because of the capitals but we can test that again and so this is just our statistics command you'll notice that we pass self in now and so instead of going length of bot.guilds like so like that you have to put self.bot.guilds because that's how you access the bot object from up here and so we've just gone through, we've changed all of these, I think I've changed them at least so we can find out when we test everything and then going down we've got our logout commands, same thing again at commands.command, passing in self and all of that await self.bot.logout and then so that's essentially it, we've got our blacklist commands from last episode here and so to call the function actually from our cogs.json you need to import the file so because these are being run in the bot.py you have to go import cogs.json so go to the cogs directory and then give me the json.py file underscore json.py and so then down here you just go cogs underscore json and then whatever function you want so we're using red json so it's really that simple it's like using it in the same file just with a couple of extra dots and words and that's essentially it for that now let's jump under the events so again we're just setting it up and saying on ready just tell us it's been loaded but now we've got our new events for this episode and these events are an on member join and on member remove so essentially <coughs> essentially how this works is whenever a user joins your discord guild or leaves it these events get tripped so we're going to pass in self because it's in a class and you get passed in a member object and so then we're also going to introduce something called uh, discord.utils.get we're using get rather than find because we want the object so essentially this is uh, a way to find it so rather than using IDs or anything you just pass in like the iterable the look over and then you can pass in the name you can pass in the ID and all of that stuff let's check the documentation for that so this is essentially going hey look in the members guild look at all their text channels and find me the first channel that matches the name general if you find a channel then I want to create an embed saying welcome to our guild set these and then send it to that channel otherwise do nothing same for on member remove find me a channel called general if it exists let's send an embed saying goodbye except uh, if it doesn't exist just do nothing and then we've also just brought over our command error which is essentially the same as before except you've just got a couple other things in there and that is essentially it for this episode we're gonna jump over into discord and we're just gonna make sure to test everything 
to set the classing of commands when you're actually importing commands from discord.exe doesn't clash and all of that jazz but for now we're done and let's jump over into discord all right cool so i've just started up the bot and let's just quickly jump into showing off that all our commands and stuff are working shall we so what we're going to do here is we're just going to type dash help let's see that everything's working now we don't have doc strings on our blacklist commands right now i'll add those after this but otherwise that looks like every command from the previous video echo command log out stats well let's just make sure they all work eh? stats mean echo hello now some things to note is during the short break i did end up changing some code there were a couple versioning errors and i had indented the commands one too many times for our last command so the blacklists and things weren't showing up but we'll just pop back into the code and i'll just show you guys so essentially all of this was indented incorrectly and under the events dot uh, pi i had forgotten to import date time <laughs> which is a classic mistake <laughs> when i'm transferring things across files but anyway let's we all know how our commands already work we've all seen them work before if you want to log out the bot you do dash log out and it logs out you know pretty stock standard stuff anyway let's just let's showcase let's showcase the new code so i've actually jumped under events.py just to test this out and i've changed it from general to recording so that the idea is when someone joins the discord uh embed will be sent here to the recording channel so let's just test that real quick so our bot's running let's just generate an invite and invite this random guy i definitely don't know so when he joins wow would you look at that we've tripped the on member event and hey look welcome to our guild you can't see this channel but this is where we've said to send it so it's it look hey alpha Roy, fox drop room romeo welcome to our guild that's this man's profile picture gives our guild name menu docs projects and today at 124 am Let's go back up. Then that'll just continue to say 124 a.m. because it's a dynamic timestamp. Now, what if this guy were to just uh, leave? So that'll trip out on member remove, and it's just a, a sad goodbye from all of us here at Menu Docs. And that's essentially our events for this episode. The main focus naturally was on cogs, but we also added those nice, cool events in there. So you guys can chuck those in your server and they're just pretty cool. You can customize the message to whatever you want. You don't have to have welcome to our guild. You'll notice you've got a nice lot of space with the profile picture and the image here. So you've got some nice space to customize. You can put some cool stats in like welcome to our guild. <sighs> Member join or something. Member joined. Yeah, and then we'll just go. Len guild dot members something like that not quite too sure if that code will work or not hopefully it does member dot guild dot members not quite too sure if that's correct again but you could just do something like that and then it'll go hey welcome to our guild you're the 14th member joined or something like that but you can just customize this to whatever you want you'll notice uh you can't change if you watched our embed video you can't change the size of these images and things but you've got heaps of space to work with there before you start having to resize things and it just starts looking out of whack but for now that's been discord.py episode 5 focusing on cogs and adding those new events if you need any help jump in the mini docs channel jump in the right help channel and a DPY help, Python help, otherwise, peace out, yo.